Hey guys, it's Katie here and welcome back to my channel. Today is the first in our series of our homeschool holiday gift guide. You guys are not gonna wanna miss out on this series. Every Saturday between now and Christmas, I'm gonna be bringing you a different topic or category to share with you guys my favorite homeschool buys. This is gonna be hopefully helpful in helping you buy your Christmas gifts, or maybe it's for birthdays, or any other special occasion, but I just wanted to share with you guys because I'm always personally looking for gifts that are gonna be educational, that are not gonna break the bank, and that could be incorporated into our homeschool day. So today's topic is my five favorite book series for kids, so let's get started. series. Why not individual books? Well, the reason is, is because one thing we like to do in our homeschool day is I like to take a book series that I want my kids to get into or that I think they might be interested in. And I like to read the first book in that series in our read aloud time, get them enticed, do all the voices, really get into it, and then have them jump in and ask for more when it's all over. And instead of reading out the rest of the series, I say, great, here you go. And I hand them a whole stack of books. And it has worked beautifully for getting my kids enticed and excited into new reading opportunities. So I would highly recommend that if you haven't tried that yet, or if you have a reluctant reader who's maybe not likely to take your book suggestions and ideas. All right, so we're going to be talking about this so it gives you the most bang for your buck, right? If you get your kid hooked on a series, you don't have to find something new for them to read. As soon as they're done with that book, they can just go to the next book in the series. This is actually a video in collaboration with my friend Leilani over at Living With Eve. She's an amazing homeschool mom. She has four kids. She's a previous public school teacher, so she has a great perspective coming from there to the homeschooling world. She's a homeschool evaluator in the state of Florida, and she's a special needs mom. She talks a lot on her channel about her journey with homeschooling her daughter, Naomi, who has Down syndrome. And our family loves it, not just for the entertainment value, but also the educational value and the tips that she shares on her channel. So be sure to check out her channel and the entire playlist of other moms sharing their favorite books for gift giving this holiday season. Like I said, I'm gonna be sharing five of my favorites. There are way more than five, let's be honest. I'm a homeschool mom and it was hard for me to narrow it down to five, but I don't want this video to be super long and the advantage is you can go watch all the other videos to get even more ideas if this isn't enough for you. But the first one is something that I love for my kiddos who have dyslexia. If you're new to our channel, I am a second generation homeschool mom and I have six kids, ages 11, 10, 9, 8, three and two years old. Several of my kids have been diagnosed with dyslexia and really struggle to read. It's very hard to get them to pick up a book. So when we can find something that works, we run with it. And one series that we have loved is the Usborne Books Graphic Legend series. I am not a consultant with Usborne, but I am a big fan. They have a lot of great books out there. But what I love about their graphic novel versions is that they're taking classic literature, things like The Wizard of Oz, The Odyssey, The Hound of Baskerville, The Three Musketeers, Alice in Wonderland, and many other classic stories, and they're taking that and turning it into a graphic novel. So you're gonna still have some good vocabulary in there, great storylines, and not a lot of the attitude or the potty humor or the language that I've been finding in the graphic novels that we have picked up off the library shelves. So good quality literature, but in graphic novels too. Now, for struggling readers and kids with dyslexia, part of the reason why these books work so well with them is because it is mostly pictures. The words, the amount of words on the page, and again, that vocabulary are still at a decent reading level, but we've got lots of pictures, so it's not uber intimidating. They don't immediately open it up to see a long list of words and just kind of shut down, because that's what happens with my kiddos who have severe dyslexia. Also, these have a lot of repeat value. Some of my kids take their time and they just, they just work through this book a little bit at a time, and other kids can sit down and consume the whole thing at once, but they're always down for repeating it. And I love that they are familiar with these classic stories and have something they can go back to over and over again. Book series number two that we love is The Boxcar Children. Now, this one might be slightly more expected, but we do love this book series. If you guys are not familiar with it, it's about a group of children who live with their grandfather and they solve a bunch of mysteries. It's a very happy, wholesome book series and they have all sorts of adventures. I think there's over 40 plus books in this series, so you're gonna get a lot of bang for your buck if you can get your kids hooked on this storyline. Series number three is the Ramona series, or, and also kind of with that, the Ribsy or Henry Huggins, Henry and Ribsy book series as well. So Ramona is a little girl and Henry is friends with her. So it's a spinoff series, right? And Ramona series goes through the life of an eight-year-old girl. She has an older sister named Beezus, and they have all their own adventures. They learn a lot of lessons the hard way, but it's very entertaining for kids. But my kids especially love the Ribsy books. Ramona and Beezus' friend, Henry, and his 
not so obedient dog get into lots of fun and trouble. Well, but trust me, it'll make for a great read and your kids will be eating it up, especially boys. They love the Ribsy series. The third series is again an Osborne book and it is the Illustrated Story Guides. These are big, thick book guys and they have them on all different topics. Fairy tales, Greek myths, they have a Huck and Finn one. They have so many different ones out there and they're a collection of little smaller stories. They come with a bookmark, which I like since it's a thicker book. And you can see the writing in here is pretty decent, but each page is illustrated. So you've got chapter five is gonna be on the Minotaur. And so they're gonna go through and tell the story of the Minotaur. And I just love the fact that it breaks it up into small little stories. They don't necessarily build on each other. Um, although some of the books do. And my boys love to read about the Trojan War and all things in Greek mythology. So. These can be great, again, good bang for your buck because you get a lot of stories within one book, but there's also a lot of books within the series that you can read with your kids. And these make great read alouds with your kids at bedtime or something they can read for themselves. The fifth and final series that I'm gonna share with you guys today, again, is another Usborne book, guys. I told you I'm a big fan. And that is the Bear Girls Adventure series. Now, some of these, they've changed the way the cover looks. Um, and we have a few of those, but I just grabbed this one. Um, the idea here is Bear Girls, if you don't know this, in real life is an adventurer and a survivalist. And so these are a fictional story, but each one is about a child and they end up in this different kind of atmosphere. Maybe it's an avalanche, maybe like this one's the desert. They end up in a fire or some other situation. And Bear Grylls is going to lead them out of that situation and lead them back home. And what's fun about it is not only are the story of lines fun and lighthearted, but they also are full of fun facts. So he actually shares real survival tips within the book. And my kids come out learning things like how to find water in the desert and what is safe and what is not safe. And they just, they eat it up. They love it. And it keeps them engaged but it's still uber educational for them. You should definitely check these out. Again they have a whole series on all different kind of natural disasters or different atmospheres. Your kids are going to learn survival skills and have fun while doing it. So those are just five of my favorites. But again, guys, I could go on and on because I'm a homeschool mom and that's what I do. If you wanna see a few of my favorite Christ-centered Christmas books, be sure to check out the video here. And if you wanna see a couple of the books that we use in our schooling, picture books that we use in our schooling to teach about character study and growth, you can check out that video here. And I hope you guys will subscribe and follow along next Saturday as we are going to be sharing all about some educational toys that you might wanna incorporate into your school day and your holiday gift buying guide. We'll talk to you guys later, bye.